Uh, what channel? It's, <laughs> TBN. Uh, and so, and so this girl's like, man, and then at the end, she ends up kind of liking her ex-boyfriend again. And, oh, oh pobrecito. Oh, Stupid Corey. Anyway, uh, and so, and so this, and so this guy, uh, so this girl's like, no, I kind of don't want to be with you. Uh, you make me kind of sick. She starts telling her baby daddy to the point where she runs her baby daddy out of the house. And, and he's like, all right, then, well, I'll get my stuff and I'll go. I'll go home. I'll go live with my mom and daddy. And so he takes off. And so she's there stuck at home having to raise these kids by herself. And all of a sudden, at the end of the show, she's get, guess what happens? What? She got another baby? No. She's, she starts missing her baby daddy. She starts saying, I wish that I would have stayed with him even though I don't like him. I think I could have grown to like him. And he was my rebound guy, but I love him and blah, blah, blah. And then she starts, she starts saying, oh, I wish I can take some of that back. I wish I can go back in time, but I can't. And then that's when she cries, a little tear. <laughs> and she cries, and then it goes, Shh, and the next episode of 16 and Pregnant. And it goes to the next show. But the thing is this. The thing is this, that the reason, listen, the reason that she fell into that predicament, it, it, had, it had more to do, uh, it, it had more to do with her not having a relationship with God. It had more to do with her not being connected to her path. It had more to do with her not connected to her purpose in her life. It had more to do of forgetting. I don't know if she was ever told that she was a child of God. I don't know if she was ever told that she belonged to God and that God had a plan for her life and that God had more for her in store. I don't know if that was the plan. But the case is this, that because she began to dabble, she said that um, she slept with this guy after two months of dating. I was thinking in my mind, are you a stinking idiot or uh, you're just sleeping around with a guy you just met and you're, and you're gonna wonder why you got pregnant? Listen, 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 people do stupid things, okay? People do stupid things and then when consequences hit them, they're kind of like, well, why did that have to happen to me? That's exactly what she said. And uh, the thing is this, that it's not God trying to trying to put you through a situation. It's not God trying to test you. It's not God trying to prove to see if you can be a good mother. It's that you were stupid enough to get into a life that you weren't ready for. And I, I'm trying to tell you the reason that happens is because we don't allow God to begin to direct our lives. And listen, how does God direct our lives? He directs us through people. He directs us through pastors. He directs us through our parents. He directs us through uh, different uh, friends that come into our lives and say, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, no, God, don't do it. <laughs> and, so, and so the thing is, I got two for one. See that? Uh, the thing is this, that when we don't allow God, or we don't allow God to direct our lives, when we don't allow God to, to interfere into our lives, sometimes we get mad at our mom for coming into our room and snooping. You got that? Yeah. Snoopy means that she goes through your drawers and she goes through your calcetines and your calzoncillos. She reads your diary and she's like, Ay, pues esta mi casa, si no quieres que la lea, voy a vivir otro lugar. Remember that? Nobody, that hadn't happened to you? It's because you don't know. Your mom's too slick. Some of y'all, y'all like, my mom doesn't do that. Oh, yeah, she does. She just knows how to fold your clothes back the way they were. <laughs> but listen, you're going to go home, you're going to be like, Pastor Milton told me, Mom, that you were snooping. Well, you weren't snooping, right? No. Your mom's going to be like, no, mija, ¿cómo vas a creerle a ese pastor? No, hombre, está loco, está loco. And then you go, mija, go outside. I got to do something in your room. <laughs> but the thing is this. The thing is this. That the reason that they're so nosy, I hate that. But the reason is because they want to see you succeed. Because they want to see you be better. They want to see you not go home with that little mocoso that's trying to call you all late at night. Hey, uh, hey, oh. Oh, your mom's there? Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Call a coward. You know? You know that guy? You know that guy that calls at, at uh, it's, your mom says, No quiero llamar después de las 10. I don't want to call after 10. And he calls at 10.01. And you're like, and you try to answer to escondidas. And you're all like, hey, 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 what are you doing? And then you try to hide you. And back in my day, back in my day, we didn't have cordless phones. We had the cord, the big old long 30 foot cord. It went all, all the way around. I was like in the neighbor's house going, talking on the phone, throwing the neighbor's house. And it looked like I had a corner, but it was just a big old cord. And I was, hey, 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 what are you doing? And then my dad would get the phone and he would be like, yeah. He would give me like three chances. He'd be, the first one would be, I don't have it. No, I don't. And I would hear him. I would hear my dad talking on the phone. He had the phone. He knew I was on the phone. And he would go, hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 
and then hang up. And then I'll be on the phone, keep being on the phone. I'm like, okay. Okay, he's asleep. All right, so what's up? So what are you going to do? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? No. I'm dreaming of you. I mean, I'm awake, but I'm dreaming. I know I'm awake, but I'm daydreaming. And so I'm on the phone all of a sudden. Strike two. Here comes my dad. Strike two. Yeah. He, and he waited. This is how long he waited. Y'all tell me, hey. Cuelga. Like that. Boom. So that's strike two. I hear him. I'm like, no, no, no. He has to wake up at five in the morning. He's not going to stay up waiting for me to hang up. He's going to go to sleep. Uh, he's, he, he's not that crazy, right? Because they got to go to work in the morning. What the heck are you doing still up? Go to sleep already. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. And not try to slip him pills so he can go to sleep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They weren't invented yet. Uh, <laughs> and, so, and, so, and so strike three, strike three was my dad coming. We didn't even say anything. I remember, I'm in my neighbor's house by the tree, hugging the tree. And I'm there, and I'm looking inside of my dad the, and the, to the house, and I'm looking at the big old window that's right there by the phone where the phone is connected. And I see my, I'm talking, and I see my dad just coming. Like, have a sleep because he's trying to go to sleep. And I just see them, and I'm talking on the phone, and I'm like, hey, um, hold on. Uh, hold on. What, what the heck is he doing? But, and he comes, and he looks at me. He grabs the cord. Total matrix. And my dad grabs the phone, and he looks at me, and he goes, <laughs> he goes, boom! He yanks the phone cord out. He yanked the phone cord. I was like, hey, I got an electric. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I was mad. I walked in the house. What the? But then I did not care about me. Oh, hey, John. I cried and I'm crying and mad because he disconnected the phone. And I was like, and then I was like thinking about it. I was like, you're crazy. Now the phone doesn't connect right because the little cuerdita broke. You know what I'm saying? So when you connect the phone, it didn't click, so it didn't stay on. So sometimes you'd be on the phone and you disconnect it because there's nothing to connect it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, back in the day, back in the day. The point is this. Something like that, something like that. But the point is this, listen. The point is this. Why do parents do crazy stuff like that? Why do parents, yes. Listen. Yes, they want to be mean. But uh, <laughs> I think my dad, I think my dad did it to be mean. But most parents do it. No, I'm just kidding. I know my dad, my dad and your parents, they do it the same reason. The same reason they tell you not to hang out with the certain people that you know, you know, you know. The same reason, the same reason your parents go to your school, throw in chancas, and you're like, oh my god, you're embarrassing me. Why didn't you wear a nice dress? And thought, I don't care. You don't show up. Don't chancluz on your mom. You're like, that's not my mom. That's my maid. <laughs> Why do, why do they do that? Why do they do that? Why do they come into all your business? Why do they, why do they get in your grill? Why do they get it? And you're, you want to say, Ya, salte de mi cuarto. And they're like, esta mi casa. Why do they do that? Because they want to see you make it. They don't want to see, listen, they want to see you make it. They, your parents, Maybe your parents have made some mistakes in their life that they don't want you to repeat. Maybe they've had friends or family members that have made mistakes that they don't want you to repeat. So my question is, who are you being led by? Listen, I believe that your parents are God sent. I believe that your family members and Pastor Milton right in front of you, the good looking guy that are preaching, I believe that they're God sent. What the? You better agree with me, Willie. At least by the, because the camera's not rolling. Edit that part. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I believe that God has great purpose for your life, a great plan for your life, and He puts people in your path because He wants to see you make it.